But look, if I, you were a heretic, you'd own it. <laughs> it's the fact that you want people to understand you hold to the fundamentals of the faith. You're an Orthodox well, believer. You here, hold to the well, here, here's scripture. The, you know, I may regret saying this, but like two years ago, I preached a series, a Christmas series, and somehow people decided, not in our church, but you know, people who were looking for something to say, decided I didn't believe in the virgin birth. So there's all this stuff right, going right. on. I didn't that. believe in the virgin birth. <laughs> I asked you. Comment, I, I contacted you privately. Yeah. yeah. I said, you know what? If I quit believing in the virgin birth, do you think I would tell anybody? <laughs> That's a career-ending move. So you know, it's just all kind of silly. But got it. All right. Listen. One. Have you heard of the recent controversy surrounding? Andy Stanley and his seeming drift on the issue of homosexuality. And then the yes, second sir. question is... All right, so first, uh, Andy Stanley, uh, we have interacted very intensively on this. I have gone back and forth with him with endless text and, and emails. He made himself fully accessible to me eight years ago when I wrote an article with some open questions for him. And he jokingly said, why didn't you send it to me first? Like, oh, I, I didn't know you were that accessible. He gave me his phone number and email. So we've been in regular contact, but for eight years, literally since 2015, he has not been willing to give me a simple answer on, do, would you agree that according to the Bible, homosexual practice is always sinful, and no matter how loving, same-sex relationships are not blessed in his sight. For eight years, including me pressing him every way I knew how to press him recently, he has refused to answer that question. And I've told them, I just got to believe all the bad reports then. All the bad stuff I'm hearing, I got to believe it's true. We'll be right back.